there are a lot of prophets who are written by the word of knowledge, the word of wisdom, but they don't have descending of spirits. Because the word of knowledge cannot see an angel. You can't see an angel by the gift of prophecy. You can't see an angel by the word of wisdom. You can't see a, an angel by the word of knowledge. You can only see Jesus or an angel or a demon spirit in the realms of the spirit by the gift of the descending of spirits. And not many prophets have that gift. So I've seen prophets who are signs of, sons of man who prophesy to witches. They prophesy to witches because they can't see. And I'll tell them, I say, Prophet, are you a prophet? He said, Papa, but you know. And I said, Did you know who you just prophesied to? One of my sons, Bishop Obodai, his friend married. On the honeymoon night, the wife said to him, I'm going to the witchcraft world. And she said, and He said, You are going where? She said, she said, I'm going to the witchcraft, finish my assignment. And he said, what was your assignment? He said, my assignment was to marry you. The Bible said, he that sleeps with a harlot is one with a harlot. You know what it means? Sex is marriage. Anytime you sleep with somebody, you become one with the person. What does it mean? You become a partaker of the person's anointing and spirit and DNA. And the person become a partaker of your DNA. So if you sleep with a witch, you become a partaker of a witch's unctions and anointing. And the witch become a partaker of your anointing. And there is exchange. It's a transaction. Sex is a transaction. It's not just 10 second pleasure. It's a transaction and a place of exchange. As for forgiving, you'll be forgiven. But exchange takes place. And the lady said, you said you're a prophet? He said, yes, I'm a prophet. He said, by the day you came to my house and ate the palm nut soup. Those of you who love eating, you will eat everywhere, you will eat anything. Somebody say, careful! Then you, con you, you, you conjure the scripture for conscience sake. Whatsoever I said before you, pray, sanctify, and eat. When you don't know, you see, we, we, we have to become so sensitive in these end times. Eh? Because a lot is going on. <laughs> Dealt with a young lady who slept with this man who is into the occult. She's a believer. And she's been believing God to marry and nobody was coming in. This man was so good to her and they started doing it. <laughs> and she confessed and she goes back to it. Repent, confess, go back. Repent, confess, go back. One day the guy told her that You know what the guy said? The guy said part of you is with me. So he said anytime I want you I just act to activate the part of you with me and you come because we are one. So I said to her, confessing will guarantee forgiveness. But after confessing, you have to pronounce a divorce. You have to annul and squash and break the soul tie and disentangle your soul from him and recall the part of you that has gone to him and return the part of him that has come to you to him to free yourself.
So I'm not saying that God doesn't forgive sin, especially sexual sin. He forgives sexual sin. But it is the complications and the dangers involved that you should look at. Because if you sleep with a witch, Jezebel has you. And you can't overcome Jezebel by anointing. Jezebel is anointed. So she doesn't, she's not afraid of your anointing. As a matter of fact, she put the most anointed man on earth to flight. Shake the knees. Call fire from heaven. And Jezebel said, you are leaving town. And he left town. So it's not anointing that deals with Joseph, Jezebel. And it is not how gifted you are. And how good you can teach and preach. It is spiritual purity that deals with Jezebel. 